All right, all right. There is seem that people are interested in Super Maven as a coding assistant, not just uh, for auto completion. They love me. Except this guy. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Look, I wasn't planning to make this video, but after so many commented asking about Super Maven, and honestly, I was pretty shocked by what I found. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how this new extension Super Maven compared to the bid alternative. We're talking about real coding as a coding assistant in a real project and real results. And trust me, there are few surprises that is good and bad. So whether you are using GitHub Copilot or Klein or Cursor, or any other AI assistant right now, you're gonna want to see this video because this could either save you some serious money or help you understand why you might want to stick with what you're using right now. So let's dive in and see what Super Maven can do for us. So according to this comment, it seems that the Super Maven company raised 12 million to build a text editor. It's not for this extension, it's building text editor. They raised the 12 million from different places like the Bezemir Venture Partners with an Obini Ico founder, John Schulman. They're building a text editor. This editor will be designed together with our models to basically speed up the day-to-day -day task to help experienced developer navigate and edit large code bases. Why they are building this text editor? We don't need a new text editor, but they seem they have hit a simple limit. Actually, I have seen this predicted jump and deletion limit when I was doing the auto compilation on the code, and you will see it too, actually, in this video. So they reach a limit of the what is possible to be done with the editor extension. The only way to take advantage of those features is by having a full control over the user interface. And this requires us to build our own editor. Before we start, Super Maven had a free trial for 30 days or basically a month. And the free trial that I am using is connected only to the auto completion. So what I'm going to do is connect it to Anthropica and use it and see if its capability is good as the client code assistant. In order to install Super Maven, all you have to do is go to the extension icon and write Super Maven, and there you will find it. Install it, and you can use it however what you like. To get your ABI key from Claudia, all you have to do is go to anserombica.com slash ABI and hit start building. And there it will give you a few options. You select get ABI keys, and there you will have your ABI keys over there. And now let's go back to Super Maven and put the ABI key that we got and click save. One of the annoying things that I noticed, it doesn't hide the ABI key. It means that I have to delete it after I'm done with this video, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. Anyway, right now we are kind of ready. We have to select the model from this icon. It's the same icon for some reason of Klein. And I selected the best model that they have in Anthropica right now, which is Claudia 3.5 Sonnet. And now I can start to create something. I have this symbol. I'm going to show you how to enhance a prompt in two different ways this time, not just one. To be fair to Super Maven and see if it's good or not, I'm gonna use the same project that I had with Klein, the blog. Why? Because I feel if I switch the entire project and created something in Bison or maybe created a platform game or Flutter, I feel like it's not fair. If I'm going to compare two extension, they have to be working on the same project. So I have this symbol prompt over here. I want to create a symbol main dashboard in the page.gx using Tailwind and make it responsive. I selected the page. It seems that it can't detect which page that I want to work with automatically like Klein. And when I hit run, it started to create GSX for it. Okay, right now it's done. Let's see it. It doesn't allow us to automatically put the code inside over here. I will copy it myself and put it over there. And now let's go to this page and see it. This is the result that I got. It's not that bad actually, because I didn't select which kind of style that I want. I let it create it with the normal Tailwind style. I'm gonna right now improve it and I'm gonna show you how to enhance a prompt in two different ways. 
The first way I'm going to show you, it's extremely easy and you can actually copy paste it inside some sort of prompt code. Here I ask it, I want you to improve the user prompt that is wrapped in the original prompt tags. Important, only response with the improved prompt and nothing else. And I give it this kind of tags and I put the prompt inside it. You will might wonder why I'm doing this because if you want to add it inside some sort of maybe I or a code, all you have to do is just go over there and like put the message if, it, you're, if you're using JavaScript and you will have the prompt is ready and the message will be coming from the ABI or something like this. So it's improved it a little bit. I want to apply a dark theme to this page and add sidebar with shortcut links for easy navigation. This is the CBT for Borgang version, basically the free version, but you can use it with any model. The other way of improving or enhancing a prompt, which is my favorite, is using bold.new. Bolted.new is all stack AI coding development assistant in the web. So you can build with it a project completely from zero to deployment inside the web browser. You don't have to install anything. And I made a video about it a while ago. You can watch it. You will put the prompt over here and click this kind of magic button. Okay, it gave me almost the same improvement from ChatGPT4. There might be using something else, maybe Llama, maybe Nemetron, maybe Claudia, who knew? But this is the idea behind prompt enhancing. You will give the prompt you have to GPT-4 or Claudia or any large language model and ask it to improve it and only give you the response without anything else. And I have to reselect the page again, which is kind of weird. And I will hit run and I will see what will happen. The result of this could actually give me an error, which is a good chance actually to show you the auto complete option inside Super Maven. The error is actually very simple. All you have to do is go up there and write use. It's already detected what I want. I will hit save, go back. It's over here. And it gives us this kind of symbol sidebar shortcut. And here is an option that will switch fr from light to dark. I love it. It have this kind of two different icon, one for the night, which is the moon and the other one is the sun. I love it. I love the colors. I love the style so far. And it can collapse the sidebar. I can ask it to change the icons. I'm going to first create a login page with only two fields, password and email and a button for the login. And I'm going to improve the, of course, the prompt before I send it. Okay. It gave me this kind of improvement. I can take this actually and go to the bold.new and hit prompt enhancement. It seems that bold.new enhancement a little bit better. I don't know what kind of models they are using because I am 100% sure that they're using the same prompt over here. Actually, to be honest, I cannot copy it from the code of bold.new open source GitHub, which is available for everyone to read. And I found these lines of code that basically get sent when we click this button. So I am not sure what kind of models they are using. Anyway, I'm going to copy this and go to Super Maven. One of the annoying stuff that I found also, it can't create its own files and folder. You have to do it manually. I'm not complaining, but I'm just stating if what I found incline you ask it for anything and it will go ahead and create it for you. You don't have to write or create the files by yourself, but here it's a little bit different. You have manually create the folder and the subfolder and also the, the file for the page. So I'm going to hit run to see what we get as a result for the login page. One of the bad things that I have noticed also is the generation is not aware of what kind of folder structure you are using. I mean, like right now I'm using XGS. It means that the front end, all of it in React and it give me the response in HTML5. After you create your first React function inside the page, you have to select the page itself and I'm not sure which one. So I'm going to select both of them and hit run. Okay, right now it's creating in React. So it's not completely aware what inside the file until you give it access. And if the file is empty, it will create it in HTML. This is the final result that I got for the login page. Remember the style itself and the quality of code 
is not it's not tied to Super Maven. It's tied to the model that we are using. And Cloud Sonat 3.5 is extremely good at coding. Now let's take a look to the auto compilation of Super Maven, which is the good side about Super Maven. To be honest, I'm gonna start writing. Okay, it's already understand what I want. Export async function get request. The auto compilation gave me this kind of wait to get burst and the response which is all right because i will not make a, a real database and if i will make one it will be suba base because it's for free and here also the auto compilation for the bots function and it have title content and tags and create new post and the response okay we can hit tab to accept it what about the rest expected this and it's auto fixing this kind of issues by clicking tab, 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 it automatically did this for me. So this is really good. The auto completion is really decent. So let's see what we can do also. I need the export function for delete. All right, it's doing this already. From that, I get the ID, deleting the ID. All right, the last one we need is one for the batch, not the bot. And here it give us option to accept it or not. We have export async function, but it should be batch, not bot, but accepted. Tab, tab, tab. I don't write any single line of code so far. Right now, I want to get, um, I think it's done right now. Instead of bot, I should put batch. Okay, it's auto completed after I am done with the word itself. So the auto completing is not that bad, actually. It's really decent. Once more, let's test if it can do the compilation for the login. And I have here already accepted this and it's aware of what I wanted to do. This is really weird because only the thing that it can look at is the OS folder name and automatically creating email and password, login to user. And this is really good. Wow. Okay. There is a good part about Super Maven. It's not that bad at all. And I want to get the user information. So I want to export also. Let's see. It will give us a sync a function. Let's give it a second. So I wanted to create a logic for fetching the user by the ID and I will hit run. So it gave me this kind of code that generated automatically using MongoDB, which I will not use it. So once more, I ask it to create the same logic, but using Suba base, which is the one of my favorite new databases that I started to use lately. It's have a very good free plan. This is the code that I got, which is extremely good because it created the client, did initialization for the client using the superbase URL and the superbase secret key. It looked to the URL for the ID and it, if it didn't found the user ID, it will give us an error. And then it, if it have the ID, it will return the user from the superbase. And if it didn't, if the user didn't exist, it will show another error. User is not found. And if anything went wrong with the database itself, it will give us an error also. And what is this error message? This is really good. This is really decent. If you're talking about the cloud itself, I know this is not Maven that's doing this. The capability of Maven so far is really good at auto completion, but as a coding assistant, on its own, it's real. It's not that good, actually. Disappointed! Because it can't detect the pages automatically. It doesn't create files or folders. It doesn't have the aware capability that Klein had when I was using it. So the only thing that is really good about it is the auto completion. This is the best thing that it have right now. And I understand why they're kind of neglected the extension. After I read the blog post about the raising fund of $12 million and why they are building their own text editor. So that's it for this video. I would like to apologize for the guy who said that the Super Maven is kind of dead. He's kind of correct, but there is a reason the, the extension right now is kind of like this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you found this video, respecting your time and providing you the valuable information, please hit the like and subscription button. And thank you for your awesome comments on the last two videos. It have been an amazing week so far. Let's keep it going and see you on the next video.